Revelation chapter 13. Verse 16, and it reads, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a M-A-R-K in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the M-A-R-K or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, ex double honors to the head apostle, slash under bitches of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bear, right? So we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, his tricks, his schemes, his plots, his karagma, his digital all. Everything is going digital. But but oh but oh yeah, it's June. So these false prophets, they got a whole lot of lot of questions to answer. You, you, you see what's going on? WEF says CBDCs must be implanted under your skin if you want to participate. In society, but but everything is a joke. No one wanted to touch this, right? See through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Great Millstone had it right the whole time. But it's June, right? And all this other nonsense, right? Soon come you Israelites, you Negroes, Latino. The only thing y'all do is talk about Kemet. Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, uh, having all these stupid debates. They, they, they never had a debate about this, though, about that C-hip. This is exactly what they should have been talking about. They're most definitely not talking about it in the churches. But now you got them talking about it on local TV stations now. That this man is going to make it mandatory for you to take an implantable device inside your skin Inside your body, inside your butt cheek, wherever, wherever you put it at, you're going to need it to pretty much participate in society. You see it right there. We ain't, we ain't making nothing up. It's all coming to pass. It's, it's getting clearer and clearer and clearer. But through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, starting off with the head of apostles, slash elder bishops of the great minister on the Lord, Ben showed us the mysteries. But the Lord said, I reveal of my secrets and to my servants, the prophets. But you want to dance and you want to sing and you want to rap it. You want to debate. You didn't want just the truth. The truth won't good enough for you. But, but now look, WEF says CBDCs, implantable devices, must be implanted under your skin. If you want to participate in society. You better go look at de Demolition Man and, and all these other end-time prophecy movies that shows you in order for you to buy or sell, you got to swipe your hand over a scanner. It's coming more and more clear, though, right? But, oh, yeah, the bums, the bums, the bums, right? Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. See, the bums had the truth the whole time. You other Israelites groups getting ready to look stupid as hell, man. Well, you're well, you already looking stupid as hell, but you're really getting ready to look stupid. You're going to have your comedy. You're still going to be pushing the M-A-R-K written up in Revelation 13, 16, and sleeping with a white woman, right? It's an embargo. It's June. It's John 3, 16, and all this other crap. When the Lord is showing you exactly what it is, but let's go to, because I got to roll in a few. Revelation chapter um, 13, the word revelation means to reveal. 13 and 16. He, the elite banking families, the Rothschilds. Again, we go through this pretty much every week. The Rothschild. You Israelites should know this, this breakdown clearly by now. By the back of your hand. He, the elite banking families. Rothschilds, Gettys, Bloombergs, Oppenheimer, Shook and Grovers. You know who they are. Cause of all, everybody. All means all. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah you. You're part of the all. Cause of all. So we're going to have some, some harsh decision-makings 
soon come. Everybody's going to be faced with their hour of temptation. They're not going to be able to escape. It's going to come upon all the world to try them. The biggest test of our life. Look, the, the head apostles, the elder apostles, slash elder bitches, the great millstone. I've been telling you for this for years. With the men on down. But everything was a joke. You should have been getting your mind prepared, Israel, for this day. But you wanted to have a damn debate, which ain't getting nobody nowhere. Them debates didn't lead to nothing but, but madness. Because of all both small and great, no matter who you are, rich or poor. Free and bond, whether you're locked up, whether you're walking around the streets to receive a M-A-R-K, a karagma. An, an, an implantable device in their right hand or in their forehead. And that no man or woman might buy or sell. What it say right here? You must have it in order to participate in society. Meaning shopping, meaning, meaning buying, meaning purchasing food, meaning working. Meaning receiving money to participate in society, man. That's everything. The movies, the gym. You saw what people people went crazy, you know what I'm saying, when that juicy juice came out. You see? When they couldn't go to the gym. They was willing to do anything just to go to the gym, just to go out of town, just to go to another country, just to go to a restaurant. You saw what they did. So don't say they can't make it happen. They, they already made it happen on some level. To where you had to do this, then the third, to, to participate in society. You couldn't go to your damn job, couldn't go to the park, couldn't go no damn well to a restaurant, couldn't get no food. But oh yeah, but oh yeah, it's just June, all right? You keep keep pushing that, all right? All this, all this madness, man. We're not ignorant of Satan device. And this is gonna be quick, because I got the roll. This is um, let's, let's see, come on. So this thing load up. Second Corinthians chapter two. Verse eleven. And it reads, Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven, and it reads, least Satan. The word Satan means adversary, right? But the only thing you worried about is a damn Britney Spears concert. You know what I'm saying? And going to the damn BET Awards and all this other nonsense. Well, probably the Lord told us to go prophesy to the people. Tell them what's going to happen before it even happened. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, at least Satan, the word Satan means adversary, should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Do you, do you not hear that, Israel? We're not ignorant of his devices, right? And what's that main device that he's coming with? The see hip. All right? He's coming with see hip. The implantable device that he's going to use, that you're going to have to use in order to buy or sell and participate in society. It's saying it right here in the article, man. Isaiah 42. Just something quick, Israel. Isaiah chapter 42. Verse 9 and it reads, Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things, new things, Israel, new things do I declare. How do the Lord declare the new things? Through his prophets. You waiting on the Lord to come down here and tell you not to take that sea hip, that karagma? You're going to be waiting a long time, buddy. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. And starting up with the head apostles, slash elder bishops, the great millstone. Been telling you, the men on down, been telling you what's going to happen before it even happened. Before this thing sprung forth, before it was made mandatory, you had prophets telling you of it, man. But oh yeah, it was June, it was an embargo, it was sleeping with white women, and all this other nonsense. And if you Israelites said, take, that, take this thing right here, you're doomed. Jeremiah chapter 28. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 28, and it reads, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied. I told you what was going to happen before it even happened. That's our job. Both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil, meaning of bad times and of pestilence. Let's just get this. Let's go back to Revelation. This is something quick. You see it, Israel. And if you don't see it, even Stephen Wonder can see this, man. What is it? Two, three, three and ten. Yep. 
the water you have by Shemir Shai, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10, and it reads, and this red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who they equally call Jesus, right? Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. He that endureth it to the end, the same shall be saved, right? Because the word patient goes into suffering, right? <clears throat> my the go days without food, without a, without a place to stay, most definitely without a job. You see? Especially if you don't take this C hip, because it says right here, WEF says CBDCs must be implanted under your skin. But it's June, all right, if you want to participate in society, all right? But what did the Lord say in Revelation? And then the Lord said, my servant's going to eat. This devil tell you, you ain't going to be able to buy, you ain't going to be able to sell. But what did the Lord say? Revelation chapter 3, verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patient, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation where sleazy is going to usher in that sea hip and make it mandatory that you take that sea hip. That's the hour of temptation, right? Which shall come upon all the world. You see that? Which shall come upon all the world. Remember, small and great, rich and poor. He, he calls them all. Remember that? Remember that word? All. I will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world, all the world, to try them. This is the biggest test of our life. It's coming, Israel. You can believe it. it's coming to try them that dwell upon the earth, the whole earth, the entire earth, man. Put your little truck. Matter of fact, let's get this right. I got two more scriptures, and I, then I got the roll, Israel. I got the roll. Let's get this right quick. Everything was a joke. Everybody laughing. Remember the bums, the bums, the bums. Remember all that now. Hold that energy. Psalm chapter 37, verse 7. And it reads, rest in the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And wait patiently, suffer patiently for him until the Lord come. Abba Ratazah, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh keeps that spirit on us to be able to suffer through everything that's coming. It says, um, fret not, don't worry yourself. The word fret means to worry. Don't worry, fret not thyself because of him, sleazy E, who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices that see him. Devices, gadgets, tricks, schemes, plots, mechanisms to pass. So don't worry yourself. What did the Lord say? The Lord said, look, trust it. I want to get that. Well, let's just get it with right here. This thing moving too. This thing moving quick too. Proverbs chapter 3. It's moving quick, Israel. Let's get this. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. So soon come, you're gonna get a knock at the door, or you're gonna go into work. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna go to the grocery store, you're gonna try to go to the bank, and they're gonna say, You need this. You need this. Now, you ain't gonna, they ain't gonna say you need a white woman, you know what I'm saying, standing beside her, you need you need to be sleeping with one. No, no. They're not gonna say, um, uh, what else? You you need an embargo. They're not gonna say, um, where's the Bible? I need you to read John 3 16 and all this other crap. They're gonna say, where that C hip at? You see where that karagma at? Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord, have faith in Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, with all thine heart, all your mind, and lean not into thy own understanding. Because you heard what this devil said, you ain't going to be able to buy or sell. And you know how people love to eat, they love to shop, they love society, they love participating in society's crap. They love going to the movies. They love going to the mall. They love going to the restaurants. They love, love going out of town. They love going shopping for them damn Birkin bags and damn red bottom boots and all the boots, boots, boots and all this other nonsense. So the majority of our people, they're going to fly down to them sea hip stations, man. They're going to be the first ones standing in line. They love some poke. They love some poke and some scrimp. Some scrimp. Well, they call it scrimp. No, they call it, what do they call it? They call it scrimp. But the real word is shrimp. We're not ignorant of saying the vice of the Lord. And I got one more. The Lord said, if you take this sea hip, you out of there, Israel. And I want to get one more because I got to go. It's like you had to rush through it. But you Israel should know this breakdown by now. You keep listening to them false prophets, they're going to lead you to the ditch, man. Uh, Revelation chapter 14, just something quick. Revelation, this is this um, pretty much the consequence of you taking this sea hip. Just so you can fit in society, right? Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man or woman, Israelite, worship the beast and his image, pretty much you're getting down with this system, and receive his M-A-R-K, his karagma, his, um, his C-hip, 
in his forehead, on his head, or any part of your body, your butt cheeks, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation in his righteous anger. And he, because the Lord's going to be pissed off at you, right? And he or she shall be tormented with fire and brimstone when the missiles hit this place, right? In the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. WEF says CBDCs must be implanted under your skin if you want to participate in society. You have been one. Get one more. One more. I got I gotta bring this last one out. I got to. Ezekiel chapter three. I got I gotta do it, Israel. I gotta give you one more. I'm I'm running late, but I gotta give you one more. Got to. Ezekiel chapter three, verse 17, and it reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Unto the house of Israel, a people before some place, the Lord set up certain men, Israelite men, to warn you. You see them on the corners. You hear them on these different video epistles, right? Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's exactly what we're telling you to do. Sleazy is going to make it mandatory that you take this sea hip. Do not take it, Israel. Fire and brimstone. Fire and brimstone. You other false Israelite group leaders, you got a whole lot of questions to answer. Shalom.